factional speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Victor Okojumbo, says his group will move to the Supreme Court to challenge the judgments of the Court of Appeal judgments on the controversial defection of Martin Amaule and other lawmakers. Mr. Jumbo believes the court urged to have held that the state high court lacked jurisdiction to entertain the suit seeking to declare the lawmaker's seat vacant. He also wants INEC to conduct a by-election for the lawmaker's constituencies. We have instructed our lawyers and they have filed an appeal to the Supreme Court of Nigeria challenging the judgment of the Court of Appeal delivered on the fourth day of July 2024. This House of Assembly, with me as the Speaker, is the only House of Assembly in River States. Matters and and 24 others, in spite of all their pretenses, are no longer members of the River State House of Assembly. Former Chairman, Equerry Local Government Area in River State, Sam Wanosike, is joining me on the news at 10. Thank you so much for joining us on the news, Honorable Sam. How do you assess Mr. Okojombo's um, decision to appeal to the Supreme Court? Well, first of all, I want to thank you for the opportunity of having me join you on this program. And I want to say clearly that uh, it is the right of uh, Mr. Okojombo and um, his other members who had the issue were suspended by the 10th Assembly when the crisis broke out in October last year. Their suspension, like he knows, has not been quashed by any court of law. They remain suspended members of the 10th University House of Assembly as led by Martin Stanley which has been declared by the Court of Appeal when they gave their judgment yesterday. So it is right to approach the Supreme Court for further interpretation in the matter. But we want to say clearly, and, and Nigerians should please join us to state clearly, that there is a young man who is in the National Assembly who does not come from River State, who does not come from any constituency in River State, who is creating problem and trying to cause anarchy in our state. This young man, as soon as Court of Appeal gave the ruling yesterday, came out and became the Supreme Court of Nigeria by interpreting the ruling of the Court of Appeal without even waiting for the original judgment to be made available to the public. I mean Ikenga Igochere, mm. who has been sapping the coffers of River State with the slogan of 60 National Assembly members being behind him. Yeah. We are calling on the Inspector General of Police to say... Exactly, that's, that's where I, I would like you to exchange it further on. Uh, uh, sorry to bother yes. in. Because, um, you know, he's actually talking about Ikenga Ugochiere, you know, heading, leading the members, some members of the House of Representatives, saying that um, the, the ruling doesn't change the situation on the ground. It's only talking about jurisdiction. Do you not feel that he has a point there? He has no point. Ikenga is not the Supreme Court of Nigeria. In fact, Ikenga should be arrested at this moment for inciting crisis and breakdown of law and order in River State. In the proper sense of democracy, Ikenga has no immunity. As far as he's outside the chambers of the House, all his activities are illegal. I am calling on the Special General Police that Ikenga has to be arrested immediately because he is inflating crisis in a state where he does not come from because he is looking for the money from Governor Fubara, who has agreed with the judgment of the Court of Appeal. If you listen to Governor Fubara, by your statement and what he said. He said he has accepted. And that's why he, him and his uh, uh, followers are going to the uh, 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 Supreme Court for further interpretation. That is the right thing to do. Yeah. Not to come and incite crisis. We are saying enough of Igochi Rikenga and all his aunties. A man that has only four followers or three followers will come and tell Nigeria that he has 60 followers. Oh, he has seen this document. Oh, there is this leak. All those things are shenanigans. He's importing criminality into proper democracy. And every Nigeria is keeping quiet. And they believe he's doing anything useful. He's rather creating crisis. He's saying crisis, creating crisis in Nimo State. And lied against Nimo State Governor Hopu Zadima. And they all propaganda, so like I have a political to House of Representatives. Today we can see the House of Representatives is now a position that he will use to harass leaders and harass the judiciary. But we thank our Lordship for standing tall to say, despite the propaganda from people like Igochiere, that they will do rights to justice. 
and they have said by their ruling that Master Samuel Wule is the leader, the speaker of the River State Tenth House of Assembly, wow. and all laws made by him will be obeyed. And they even went further to say that every action taken by Oko Jumbo mm. from the one is null and void, which means but the Catholic committee, committee is clean. That's right. Null and void. The Attorney General is clean. Null and void. The commissioners is clean. Well, null and void. All laws he has made. Null and void. It's it's actually it's, it's actually an unfolding development. You know, very rapidly developing, and then we keep monitoring. But some of these things that you said, you know, basically these are definitely your opinion because a lot of people would definitely disagree with you, especially those who are in support of um, you know the incumbent governor uh, Fubara on this issue. Uh, thank you very kindly, former chairman, equally local but, but government. Before you leave, before in, you leave, in, in I'm not former state. chairman. I want to say clearly before you leave, just just a while ago, Kogi State House of Assembly has extended the tenure of the local government chairman that is done by the proper house of assembly we have said before that the original tenor of chairman was for four years mm. it is the same house of assembly that the Constitution gave that power to reduce our tenor from four to three years so if the house of assembly led by Matt Samibuli have said because the governor refused to present a project before them and the governor had no plan to conduct an election that there should be no vacuum in office that's right and that there should be an extension for an election we'll, to be conducted we'll see, I am we'll see what happens we'll see Council what happens Council. And I thank God for right. our lordship. Mr. Wano Sike, and giving the right judgment. Right, Mr. Wano Sike, thank you very much uh, for, for your insight uh, on, on this very important issue in River State. Thank you very kindly. We'll see what happens, you know, in, in the future times. Thank you. Thank you very much.